are so excited to be here with you today. For months now, we have been talking about, well, when we just have the final itinerary, well, 84 days to go, and we have an itinerary for Pope Francis in Philadelphia. We cannot wait to welcome him and to welcome the world to our awesome city. It is no surprise uh, that he would want to go uh, to a prison, that he would want to be at Independence Hall talking about immigration and uh, folks who are often uh, of lesser income or lesser means trying to make their way, for instance, uh, into the middle class. So I am not surprised at all uh, by this itinerary, given what he has been doing uh, for about the last uh, two years. I think that for the Pope, it's about the pastoral, not the political. And for many of us, we might take that as a, as a political statement, and certainly the Pope is not afraid to make strong statements. Um, but I agree with the mayor. This is about those who are marginalized, those who may find their way uh, more difficult in our country. Um, and I think for him, it's always about how do we care for the human person. And the Catholic Church has, has spoken out on issues of immigration for decades, for decades. I, I don't know how it came about. I do know that the Archbishop was here in January to say Mass, and I, I kind of jokingly asked him that if, if when the Pope uh, comes to the, we all knew about the Pope's visit, that when he comes to the city in September, he'd be more than welcome to pay us a visit. We'd be glad to host him, and it came true. <laughs> and we hope that there's a message of hope for, for the individuals who are incarcerated here and a message of encouragement and, and, and professional support for our staff. Now, no, the Vatican didn't discuss, uh, the Vatican didn't discuss with us the, the selection of inmates to, to be confined to a, a, a religion. They just asked to meet with the inmates, they asked to meet with men and women, and they asked to meet with some families. To have Pope Francis come uh, is really a wonderful opportunity for our seminarians uh, who come from, from all over the country as well as locally here in this region uh, to see what servant leadership is and, and also to see missionary discipleship modeled. I remember feeling uh, just really solidified in, in, in a deep feeling of vocation uh, of call from God when I, when I had the opportunity at a young age to meet St. John Paul II, shake his hand. Uh, so I, I hope that our seminarians and that everyone who has the opportunity to encounter or to see Pope Francis would have a similar sense.